To take inputs from a user in Python, you can use the input function. The input function prompts the user for input and stores the value that the user enters in a variable. Let's see this example. The input function is used to prompt the user for their channel name and also the number of subscribers. The entered values are stored in the variables name and count. Using print function, we can display the input back to the user. Let me run this program using the command ey space your file name. Look at this. The program is waiting for my input. I'll give Once I give my input and press enter, the program prints the entered input, hello interview pro, because we are concatenating hello with the variable where we stored the value entered by the user. Again, the program encountered another input function. So it's waiting for my input again. I'll say 500 for now. I'm expecting a greater number later. So it returns 500 is a great number. Good luck with your channel. This print statement got executed. Print is the last statement of this program. So there are no other prompts for the user and the program exits here. To summarize, when the program reaches input function, it waits for the user to enter some input. Once the user presses enter, the input is stored in the variable. Remember, the input function always returns a string. Let me show you. Do you see this? I used print statement and there is a function called type which takes the variable as parameter and returns the type of this variable. So when I ran the program, these input functions were executed and the entered inputs were stored in these variables and the type of these variables is str, str, that means string. So uh, when I typed interview pro, it was a string, that's correct. But when I typed 500, that is also taken as a string. So if you need to work with different data types, you need to typecast the input to appropriate data types. We'll see how to typecast variables in our upcoming sessions.